This is the kind of crap that we deal with as truck drivers. Got up this morning to come out to my truck to find a boot on my shield, along with about 13 other drivers out here, and we're all getting together to find out how to take these things off. And so far, a bunch of truck drivers, we've all taken off our boots on our window. Let me turn this camera around. This is what they did to us this morning. All these trucks, all these drivers, it's bull. Wow, we, our job is so hard. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. Uh, let's talk about uh, today's podcast episode. Uh, parking in Walmart truck plazas and places where they might potentially boot you, right? And so I've had this before, and today has been a really big controversial uh, debate about this. Uh, Patrick uh, from TikTok, he put out this video that... Pretty much people are thinking two sides. One, don't park at a Walmart plaza. The other side, how dare Walmart put boots and charge $1,500 to all of these truck drivers in the plaza. Now, one thing I would say is, you know, it's actually not Walmart. It's the plaza. And sometimes Walmart might own the plaza. They might not. But the owner of the plaza they're the one that has this relationship with this probably crooked tow truck company, right? And so, you know, uh, what Patrick says actually is that he's an oversized load and that he's parked at this uh, Walmart Plaza before in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and there's no signs out there and he's never had a problem. So this is a bit of a follow-up from this morning. Uh, had a lot of views from the incident that took place this morning, which was a little bit of a shock. And uh, a lot of comments, and a lot of the comments were, you should have planned better, park where you're supposed to, uh, I'm sure there were signs when you drove in. Here's the deal, there were no signs. And plan better. I can't plan any better if you paid me to. I'm an oversized wide load. On average, I'm about 17 feet wide, pushing about 120 feet in length. So I have to know where I'm parking way before I get there. And that spot where we were last night, we've been there before. And we've never had an issue, never seen signs, never had anyone come and talk to us. In fact, normally when we park in certain areas, we utilize the businesses that we park next to. I went to Walmart, and I went to the hotel, and a restaurant nearby. So, you know, I did my job, and obviously they were definitely trying to screw people out of money and I don't think it's right I think it's wrong and as a driver I do my very best every single day that I'm out here to try to make sure it's done successfully safely and on time and being that I'm an oversize I have to constantly watch where I go what I do and pay attention to everything so he's trip planned this you know, what happened was he woke up to over, what, 20 drivers having boots on their windshield wanting to charge $1,500. So what does he do? He takes it into his own hands and he takes off the boot. Now, for all you fellow truckers out there, if you have one of those boards on your windshield, get a knife, a thin one that's about six inches, six or seven inches long. Get underneath of that outside perimeter and get all the way up into the actual where the suction cup is and as soon as you jam into that a little bit not a lot just enough to get the pressure off both sides will come attached there you go and uh through this he explains that you know he did trip plan and that they never had a problem at this walmart plaza before so i would say this to all the truck drivers out there that usually park at the walmart plaza in chattanooga tennessee Definitely don't park there because this might be a new policy or what, but they're charging $1,500. Clearly, you can see from this windshield right here. But, you know, um, was the driver in the wrong on this or was the plaza in the wrong? You know, mother truckers comment down below. You know, my own opinions, if there's no signs, you know, then there shouldn't be any problems, right? Especially, but again, if it's private property, they kind of can do whatever they want to do. But again, they have to have signs. So if anyone lives in that area, let me know. Are there signs? 
you know, and the second part to that is, you know, do you think it's right that these plazas are able to charge crazy astronomical amounts like $1,500, right? And the truckers comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this. But yeah, just want to give the topic of debate, let you guys know, and also let you guys know the truth that, look, <laughs> it might have used to been safe to park at that Walmart. <laughs> it ain't anymore. Mud truckers, comment down below. Oh, and the last thing, you know, uh, I would honestly say that the, the reason why uh, these plazas have all these problems with us is there's a lot of drivers that make it bad for the rest of us. You know, throwing out bottles, trash, and one or two, and next thing you know, they don't want any. So, mud truckers, comment down below.